like, you know, they get patchy and... Right, you know, and that looks bad at first, but then they yeah. heal and then they're good. Yeah, so I, you know, that's kind of something I think of, like, scheduling, planning around and stuff. Have you had any tattoos in the past? Or mm -mm. No, no so, tattoos. Um, as far as, like, healing and stuff, or do you consider yourself, like, you heal pretty well, you don't have any issues with that? Or? I would think so. Yeah. It's like, I, I had my ears you. pierced and those were fine, so... Yeah. I mean, I'll just cover it with a band-aid, um, and then just leave that on, you know, you can take it off tonight, and then okay. just kind of keep an eye on it, or if I didn't keep an eye on it, it's kind of been a hard place to, it's not like you can see behind your ear. Right. But, so you're going to you know? get some small tattoos behind your ear, and that, <laughs> what's that going to test? If she has a reaction? Yeah, just, the... you know, it gets the pigment in the skin a little bit, just to make sure that there isn't a reaction or anything, there's no allergy to the pigment. Okay. So that's all we're testing for right now. Just Before we make actually sure. do it on my eyebrow, I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> what if her ear swells up huge? Half eyebrow on. And we probably don't want to tattoo her face. <laughs> then they'd look like mine. You gotta be careful. <laughs> oh, you winking at me, babe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, uh, do you have any questions about the actual process, or any questions that you have for me that I can answer for you, or do you want me to just kind of go over like what to expect, like the day of what I do, yeah. or what the I know so many people have like you know they watch videos, they look you know at so many things, right? Um, so the day of I I start by you know we do the consults and everything, and then I start by drawing drawing the outline, so then you can get a really good idea. I mean. I, I like that I can see what you do because then really we can kind of, you know, I'll just kind of stick with the shape I that you're just, used to. Yeah, I like, like my shape that I got already. Yeah, I just, and I, I like it too. I think it looks nice on yeah, you. Yeah, so with my really, natural, like, I haven't had them wax yeah. in probably a month either, so. Yeah, I think it's a good shape. I mean, so really we could just stick with that. Also, I will draw the outline. I just um, like them filled in. Now, as far, so as far as the fronts. Um, do you like more of that like ombre where it kind of fades up or do you like it kind of where it is more I like defined, it a little softer in the right right kind of through the middle yeah. yeah I don't want it sharp and it's nice so I, I do the initial appointment and then I do a touch up at eight weeks so okay. I always you know for kind of in between some stuff I'll do a little bit lighter the first time because then that second time if we want to add to it we can okay. you, know, you can add but you can't take away so I right. always I'm a little more conservative that first appointment <laughs> if we're like oh I'm not sure let's see how they heal and you know, see how you're feeling about it. Okay. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, so I'd start with doing the outline, and then I do some swatches. So we pick the color together, we pick the shape together, and then so you can get a pretty good idea of what everything were to look like before you do anything <laughs> permanent. <laughs> so I don't move forward until my client is 100% with all that, and okay. yeah, and then then it's just the healing. Um, I usually give it between six and eight weeks before I do the touch up to make sure everything's nice and healed, and then okay. see you again for that, and. Yeah, then you're good for a few years, so. Right. <laughs> um, Hopefully. Yeah, right. Does it just go away after so many years? Or? I don't think it ever goes away. It's, it's hard. I, you know, they call it semi-permanent, but, I mean, it is technically still a tattoo. The difference is tattoo ink is, is permanent. That's meant to stay there. Permanent makeup pigment is kind of meant to be broken down. Yeah, by that's body. good. It, it is because, you know, then, you know, if styles change a little bit, you exactly. want to tweak it a little, keep the color nice and fresh so you don't end up with this. Yeah, that's you know, good. I like that. You old school eyebrow tattoos where they end up with, like, a blue little line when they're, you know, 80 degrees. 80 blue? Degrees. Why is it blue? Well, it tattoo, you know, do tattoos, I mean, they fade. It's like the black. You know, they, they just, okay. this isn't just a few years old. They just kind of fade to, like, a weird blue color. The sun takes certain colors out of it. I mean, Okay. Yeah, so, you know, and that's kind of when I tell people to come in for their touch-up, kind of see how you're feeling. Most of them do kind of start to fade a little bit ashy or they'll get a little bit of a red tone. When they start to get a little funky tone, then you just need to come in for the color blues just to... Mine are kind of gray underneath here, but it's like... I still have... You know, I don't have to figure out the shape every day. I scribble a little bit on the work that's there and... Right. I guess it doesn't bother me, but that's something to think about too, you know.